Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on face proportions, and more specifically, how to draw a self-portrait and shade it in using a mirror and proper facial proportions. So first, let's start off with what is proportion? The proportions are relative size of one object in comparison to another. So for instance, a mouse is going to be a relative size compared to an elephant. But there are also relative size measurements that we can take and use to help us draw a good self-portrait that relate to our face and the rest of our bodies. First, let's look at what people tend to do as they are learning to draw before they know how to do the realistic way. So what is it that we tend to do? You will often see the eyes are too high in the head or too small, maybe too big. The nose is usually just kind of an L shape or a triangle and is often way too small. And the mouth is simple and often sized incorrectly. Again, often too big or too small. All of this, of course, is completely age appropriate and normal. But to take our artwork to the next level, we need to learn what real face proportions are. Next, let's take a look at what the face actually looks like and how we can define it and divide the face to give us a more realistic self-portrait. So what exactly does the human face actually look like? What are these proportions we are talking about? First, we start with the shape of the head. And here I'm just going to use this picture of myself to trace the whole shape. Everybody's face shape is a little bit different, so that's where your mirror is going to come in handy. Next, I'm going to draw a line across the eyes here. And the bottom of the nose. And the mouth. Add in that bilateral symmetry line. And so what you may find here is as I'm measuring, I can use my pencil to help me measure, and you can do this in the mirror too, where you mark where you see the top of the head with where you see the eyes. And then you go from the eyes to the chin. Now see, I've got a longer face, but that is almost exactly halfway. So the eyes, we start by marking them in halfway from the top of the head shape to the bottom of the head shape. Next comes the nose. If I measure this space, maybe I'll try using my eraser here. So if I measure this space from the eye to the bottom of the nose and the nose to the bottom of the chin, I know that again, it's a little longer, but it's pretty darn close to halfway there. So this is more like a quarter. And then here again, now I'm smiling. It's a little bit different. And this is where measuring comes in. We've got nose to mouth, mouth to chin, almost exactly one half of this distance. Okay, so it works in those fractions of half, half, and half, each being divided in half, and then of course the face is divided there. Now pay close attention here to the ears. The ears, see how mine fit? They are a little bit longer. Top of the ear is in line with the eyes, bottom of the ear is in line with the bottom of the nose. Top of the ear, bottom of the ear. Again, a little longer here, but I know that that is more or less where it should be placed with the ears being in between the eyes and the nose lines. The nose, if I were to draw a line from the corner of my eye straight down, 
corner of the eye straight down, I find the edges of my nostrils right here. Okay, the outer part, the lobes. Here's the ball of the nose. Okay, right directly down from the eye. The mouth, if I were to draw a line coming up from the corner, I find the center of the eyes. So, my eyebrows, of course, come somewhere in between above the eye line. Now, let's take a look at the spacing in the eyes. If I mark here the corners of the eye shapes, one thing that you may notice if you measure is this space is almost equal to the space of the eye, is almost equal to inside the, in between the eyes. So, what is important to remember there is you should be able to fit one, two, three, four, five eyes across the face. Now, let's see how a master does it. So I'm going to deface this drawing by Leonardo da Vinci to help you see. Again, midline. The eyes are closed here, but there's that. You can even see the sketch lines up here where the head shape is. If I go halfway here, with the spacing being the same or close to the same, I find the bottom of the nose, the mouth sits in the space. If I were to go halfway here in between the nose, the mouth is just above that. So there's a little space here, but that's where the mouth goes. Drawing lines, click tears, they go up to, this one goes up to the corner of this eye, and part of that is because she is facing a little bit off to my right. If I bring the lines down, though, from the corner of the eye, there is the edge of the nose. And there aren't hard lines here. This is done in shadow. So when drawing yours in, what I usually do is I draw the bottom of the nose, the outside of the nostrils, and then that I add in later when I add in shadows. And eye distance. Here's the distance of one eye to the edge of the face. Remember, she's turned away, so there's a little more space over there. That's the same. That's the same. That's close to the same, or fairly close. That's much shorter, but again, she is turned away. So, it's been done for centuries. And of course, there are variations. Children will often have their features closer together. Chins are smaller. Lips, though, still will come up. So the younger you are, your nose might be a little wider. Your eyes might be a little bit bigger in proportion, but you will have fairly close to the same. Also, it depends on your ethnic back background. It is very common to see with particularly African-American histor history, genetic history, look at the edge of the nose. They come in just a little bit from the edge of the eye. So pay attention close attention to your own images in the mirror, measure, and you should be able to get more accurate. Here is a quick breakdown on how you begin working in your sketch to set yourself up for using proper facial proportions. We begin with the head shape, and then you're going to divide it in half going down the center, that bilateral line. Then you need to measure find halfway top to bottom and bring in that horizontal line find your halfway point between the eye and the chin and draw that in next we're going to find the eyes and make sure that your eyes are spaced equally so that you can fit five of them across 
bring from the corner of the eye guidelines down for the nose and then you can go in for the mouth line which will be halfway in between the nose and the chin. From here you can start adding in hairline, you can look at the eye shape and get that in there, add in the bottom of the nose. Remember you're going to add the bridge of the nose when it comes to shading. Add in the mouth. If you need to look up some how to draw mouths or noses, that might be a good way to use YouTube to search up some videos to help you with those because they can be tricky. Now when you are all done, yours should look something like this. You can, when you get to this point and you have your eyes shapes, nose shapes, mouth shapes, and the shapes for the ears and the hair kind of blocked in, you can erase your guidelines and then you are ready for the next video where we will talk about adding shading.